Hey, I'm Doc Fabular. Welcome to Doc's Guide to Mobile Photography, where we share tips and tricks for you about how to take better pictures with your cell phone. Today we're going to talk about an app called Hipstamatic, which if you're an iPhone user, you probably have Hipstamatic. It's extremely common. It's an app for creating lens and film combos that give your photos kind of an analog look and feel. But the thing is, uh, you do that before you take the photo, unlike other apps where you apply the, the filters later. So it's a killer app. Lots of cool effects, but I have a couple tips and tricks I want to share with you to make it even better. When you first open Hipstamatic, you may notice right away that the viewfinder has this quirky way of moving around between shots. What the Hipstamatic crew are trying to do here is replicate how difficult it is to use a rangefinder on, uh, or a viewfinder on an old camera. You can go to settings by exiting Hipstamatic, click on the settings app for, for all your apps, uh, find Hipstamatic in the list, and click on precision. So there's classic, which is kind of moving around, and precision, which is always gonna show you exactly how your photo is gonna look. Something else you can do in this mode uh, to make your view bigger is double tap. So if you don't like having that tiny little area to pick the framing of your shot, all you have to do is double tap, you get a nice big screen, and the cool part is you can touch anywhere on the screen and it'll take your shot. Also from this large screen, you can focus on objects better by pressing the screen and holding on the object you wanna focus on. On this side of Hipstamatic, you have your viewfinder, you have your way to be able to charge your flash, and on the lower right hand side you have the button to flip the view. So you're going from the back of the camera to the front. This is where you can change a couple things. The most important is to make sure that your camera settings are at the highest quality. Now there's these three little dots here, small, medium, big. In this view you can also drag the lenses to switch between your lenses. You can click on the film icon in the lower left hand corner and you're going to have the same ability to be able to choose your combos. If you ever find combos that you like, you can hit the star button and this is going to be your favorites. You can go to the right and save whatever camera settings you currently have. You can rename it, you can do all sorts of cool stuff. One of the features that people who like to have fun using Hipstamatic might enjoy is the shake to randomize. Uh, now shake to randomize is gonna give you uh, this cool thing where every time your phone shakes, you'll change your settings uh, completely. Now the nice thing about shake to randomize is it kind of embraces that spirit of not really knowing what you're taking photos of and just kind of going with the moment. The bad thing is sometimes you might get bad combinations. So there's actually two things you can do if you don't want shake to randomize. First off, you can go to settings and turn off shake to randomize or you can leave shake on. When you click on the film roll, there's an edit button. And if you, if you click that, you actually have the option of turning on and off shake to randomize on any particular film or lens or flash combo. Shake to randomize is a lot of fun. It's just maybe not for everybody. For me, it kept accidentally getting shaken when I was trying to take a photo, so I turned it off. Something else you can do is you can send this to Twitter, Tumblr, or a new feature, send it to Instagram. And the cool thing about sending it to some of these services like Instagram is you'll actually be able to see uh, the tags with the with the lens and film combo. So when it posts, you'll be able to see that it was posted with the John S or with the macro lens or, or anything like that. So now that you've seen most of the basics of how to use Hipstamatic, I highly recommend if you get hooked on it, uh, going to the front of the app where you can change the lenses, hitting the cart and checking out some of the lens combos they have for sale. Uh, sometimes they have free stuff, sometimes they have the combos for 99 cents. So if you see a lens combo you like, be sure to get it now because it might not be there forever. Hipstamatic happens to be one of my favorites, uh, not only because it's great for giving you square photos for Instagram, it also gives you great postagram photos, which are also squares. So if you like sending postagrams, you're looking for an easy way to be able to take a square photo and give it some nice drama, check out Hipstamatic, it's gonna be a good combination together. Speaking of postagrams, we got this postagram from Blaine Toms. Uh, Blaine is a, a listener from the UK. He actually found us through the Tiny Shutter podcast, which is an awesome podcast about mobile photography. Um, Blaine sent us this picture of the moon that he took with his iPhone by sticking his iPhone next to a telescope. So thank you, Blaine, for this awesome postcard. We love it. Uh, remember, you can scan this stamp and save a photo from today's episode as well as get our address so you can send us postagrams. So if you end up getting some great hipstamatic shots or any other shots you want to share with us, please send them away. You can also follow us on blog.postagramapp.com or we're Postagram on Twitter and Instagram where we share lots of cool tips and tricks about the world of mobile photography. Photography, photography. Yeah. I'm Dr. Popular. Thanks for watching. Word to your mother. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam.